The story begins with a priest telling a young Lawrence about saints and their protection policies. He tells Lawrence never to forget this principle, and that's different from the rest. After some time, Lawrence is older and takes a boy and his mother to meet Cecilia, the only saint in town. The boy asks Cecilia if he can help him resolve a dispute with his friend, and she gives him advice. Lawrence informs the boy's mother that Cecilia has no issue helping people since she's required to. After the boy and his mother depart, Cecilia shows her true colors. Lawrence confirms Cecilia likes to act lazy only when she's in front of him. We see this unfold as she quickly shifts her demeanor to a professional one as people enter the church. Lawrence asks Cecilia why she likes lazing around when it's only him in the room. She dodges the question and asks Lawrence why she won't let her participate in specific activities like cooking or digging. Lawrence tells Cecilia he doesn't want her to get hurt, confirming he can be overprotective. Lawrence tells Cecilia he'll be visiting some homes in town, and Cecilia begs him to let her accompany him during his expedition. Lawrence complies but asks to Cecilia to avoid people if they ask her to show them her mysterious powers. Lawrence leaves to prepare and Cecilia is happy to spend quality time with him. Cecilia asks the church's angels to make their presence known to her. She tells them to stop following Lawrence because it makes her jealous. As Lawrence and Cecilia meet a woman, a crowd of children swarm Cecilia and ask for a miracle. Thankfully, she stays put and refuses their demands. Lawrence overhears the kids and pulls Cecilia aside. Cecilia shows the kids a card trick to fulfill their miracle desires, shocking Lawrence. Lawrence and Cecilia visit a shop owner for a bit to talk. Cecilia spots a wedding dress in the shop and loses it, revealing her true nature to someone other than Lawrence. The shop owner explains how females love stopping by her shop to look at it. Further, she admits she made the dress for a woman's upcoming wedding early, so she's displaying it here for a while. The shop owner admits she always wanted a daughter and loves chatting with girls around Cecilia's age. The shop owner tells Cecilia many people think she looks cute, embarrassing her. She hands Cecilia a piece of clothing as a gift for stopping by. The shop owner silently tells Cecilia she's willing to make her a wedding dress anytime, alluding to the fact that she may know she likes Lawrence. Cecilia and Lawrence leave the shop and encounter a cat. Lawrence scares the feline away and wishes he didn't have that effect on animals. They return to the church, and a girl named Lily and her mother greet Lawrence with flowers. Lawrence and the girl's mother leave Cecilia to watch Lily. Lily tells Cecilia she plans to marry the pastor when she's older, but Cecilia says she shouldn't. Lawrence overhears Cecilia talking ill of him and scolds her when they're alone inside for it. However, he's willing to look past Cecilia's antics if she tells him how she feels about him personally next time. Cecilia admits that there are many things about Lawrence that she likes. Lawrence asks Cecilia if he wants her to make some of her favorite meals, and Cecilia gladly accepts. As they bake together, Lawrence recalls his first meeting with Cecilia. He states Cecilia appeared in their village out of nowhere, so he took her to the church, and she remained by his side since that day. However, Cecilia likes to get herself in harmful circumstances, resulting in him always keeping a watchful eye on her. Lawrence tries getting Cecilia up the following day for breakfast because she woke up late. Cecilia tells Lawrence to enter her room to wake her up. Lawrence discovers Cecilia wearing new pajamas she got from the shop owner and says she looks adorable, embarrassing her. Cecilia changes her clothes and visits Lawrence at the table for breakfast. Lawrence and Cecilia discuss their likes and dislikes concerning food for a while before leaving their home to shop for things. Lawrence tries his best to prevent Cecilia from hurting herself the entire time, leading to many funny situations. After gathering the essentials, Lawrence wonders if he should get things to make sweets, but Cecilia urges Lawrence to buy the ingredients. Cecilia tells Lawrence she admires everything she does for him in a village, but Lawrence thinks she's going too far. It starts raining, so Lawrence and Cecilia rush over to find shelter. A woman and her friend notice the pair without one and offer them umbrellas. Cecilia entices Lawrence to share an umbrella with her, but the rain stops, ruining her chance to have an intimate moment with him. That is until Lawrence picks her off her feet and rushes home. Shortly after, Cecilia notices Lawrence sleeping and states how attached she is to him. Cecilia holds Lawrence and vows to protect him no matter what. We see Lawrence's friend Abel arriving at Lawrence's and Cecilia's home. Abel asks Lawrence if he could work at the church for a while since he didn't like working with the people at his church. Although Lawrence doesn't want him around, Cecilia convinces him to let Abel work for them. Abel asks Lawrence for Cecilia's name but doesn't vocally tell him. Abel questions why no one calls Cecilia by her name since it's nice. Lawrence leaves Abel with Cecilia to give himself time to finish some paperwork. Cecilia asks Abel if Lawrence has a sweetheart. Abel confirms he does, upsetting Cecilia. However, he says Lawrence views the scriptures are his sweetheart, calming Cecilia. 
Abel hands Cecilia the paper Lawrence wrote her name on as an apology. Our trio head to the church. Cecilia learns this isn't Abel's first time visiting the church. Lawrence confirms Abel visited the church often and spent the night there despite being scolded for it. Abel questions why Lawrence hasn't noticed Cecilia's feelings for him. Cecilia tells Abel that Lawrence thinks of himself as her caregiver. Abel goes for a walk, and Lawrence says this is a great time for Cecilia to loll around. Cecilia is concerned about how she'll balance her habits with Abel nearby, but Lawrence questions why she's so concerned about how someone else perceives her if she's not afraid to show her true side to Lawrence. Cecilia says she isn't concerned about how Lawrence perceives her because he'll accept her that way. Lawrence is glad Cecilia wants to only laze around when she's around him because it makes him feel special. Lawrence leaves to attend to matters while Cecilia contemplates Lawrence's best qualities. We get a montage of Cecilia and Lawrence performing their duties as Abel sits around doing nothing to help them. After a day's work, Lawrence orders Abel to attend some cleanup duties. Cecilia questions why he's hard on Abel, and Lawrence says he picked up his stern attitude from his grandfather. Lawrence gets a severe headache as Abel returns. Abel tells Cecilia she bestowed him with too much divine protection, so she swiftly removes some to free Lawrence of his mental pain. Abel and Cecilia discuss the situation further. He admits he did all he can to protect Lawrence in the past. We cut to a flashback between a young Lawrence and his grandfather. Lawrence is irritated that he can't play the piano while his grandfather hands him a newspaper with news of a new lady saint being discovered. Lawrence asked his grandfather if this is a huge deal. His grandfather says it is because more villages like theirs, who don't have one, will request her to live here for their divine protection abilities. His grandfather shares stories he's heard about lady saints protecting people from natural disasters, their hearts and other outside evils. His grandfather tells Lawrence that he's special. We cut to Abel informing Cecilia that Lawrence attracts all types of angels and demons, despite not being able to see them himself. Cecilia wishes she had enough power to protect Lawrence from all types of danger. Abel realizes they're the perfect match for each other. Cecilia and Abel admit they never told Lawrence about his supernatural attracting abilities. Cecilia tells Abel the church holds lots of fairies and four angels, and Abel says it might be dangerous to have them flying around since it could result in Lawrence succumbing to poor health conditions again. Abel reveals he came here to check on Lawrence since he received many letters concerning his health. However, Abel wasn't too worried since Lawrence mentioned living with someone who made his days brighter. Cecilia tells Abel not to cut himself short while spouting how jealous she is of him for seeing Lawrence during his seminary days. Abel promises to bring Cecilia photos of those days next time. Lawrence wakes up and tries a meal Cecilia cooked. He likes it, but Abel forces Cecilia to try the dish, resulting in her leaving the room in embarrassment. Lawrence asks Abel to reveal why he came here. Abel promises not to let the nobles know of Cecilia's presence and doesn't plan to expose her. Abel asks Lawrence what he thinks of Cecilia, and Lawrence says he trusts and respects Cecilia. Lawrence helps Cecilia with a spider problem in her room and has Abel clean up the kitchen, while Lawrence respects Cecilia. He admits the term doesn't capture how he feels about her and Lawrence votes to protect Cecilia with all his heart. Abel returns to Cecilia and Lawrence's church sick after getting caught up in a thunderstorm. Cecilia promises to look after Abel. After handling his church duties for the day, he returns home to check on Cecilia and Abel and notices they've fallen asleep. Lawrence lies to Cecilia about the congregation being around to wake her up. They discuss some things. Cecilia notes Lawrence's stern behavior and wonders if he's getting sick. Lawrence says he's doing fine, but promises he won't be stern around Cecilia again. Cecilia heads to her room to change clothes. Abel awakens and Lawrence questions if he is sick. The next day passes. Lawrence prepares Cecilia with many sweets, but Cecilia notices Lawrence is acting strange. Abel tells Cecilia that he's suffocating from all the guilt, but Cecilia doesn't know what Abel's referring to. He hands Lawrence a letter from one of their old classmates. Abel says he attends normal meetings with them. Lawrence says he do so but doesn't want to leave Cecilia alone. Abel suggests ways Lawrence can bring and introduce Cecilia to their classmates. He leaves Lawrence and Cecilia to put his letter away. Cecilia asks Lawrence about his friends and Lawrence questions if Cecilia thinks ill of this place after yesterday's fiasco. Lawrence apologizes for showing Cecilia unsightly sides of himself, but Cecilia promises him she'd never grow ill of this place as it puts her mind at ease. Later, Lawrence notices someone left a scarf at the church. He wants to visit the village with Cecilia to return the scarf to its owner. However, Abel tags along because he doesn't want to be alone at the church. In the village, Lawrence tells Cecilia he plans to travel to the person's house on the other side of the river. A fortune teller interrupts our protagonists and asks them for service. 
Lawrence appreciates her tenacity but declines her offer. However, the fortune teller tells them how hard it is for her to make money, coercing them to accept. The fortune teller tells Abel, Lawrence, and Cecilia their fortunes. Afterwards, Cecilia gets her cape ripped by some wood, and a passerby notices. This person asks Cecilia to accompany her to a shop to choose something else to wear. Lawrence thinks it'll be a great idea and says they can deliver the lost item while Cecilia is looking for a new outfit. Cecilia visits the shop with the woman. The woman and her friends find some attire that best suits Cecilia. The shop owner tells Cecilia to ask Lawrence his thoughts about her new look and why he didn't want to attend the shop with the woman. Lawrence tells Abel why he let Cecilia travel with the woman to the shop. Abel asks him what he plans to do if Cecilia walks around the village and finds herself a handsome gentleman. The shop owner shows Cecilia a picture of the person who purchased the wedding dress from episode 1. She teases Cecilia about making her one someday. The shop owner claims Lawrence seems happier with Cecilia and feels he longs for a normal family. She confirms Lawrence never had parents so his grandfather raised him. Since his grandfather's demise, Lawrence always felt lonely. Cecilia leaves the shop and almost trips. Thankfully, a female traveler saves her and tells Cecilia she's looking for someone. Cecilia apologizes that she can't be of assistance but thanks her for helping her. Lawrence and Abel bump into Cecilia and confirm they return the item to the person. Cecilia asks Lawrence his thoughts about her clothes and says she looks nice. Cecilia asks him to elaborate further, so he says she looks lovely, making Cecilia happy. Meanwhile, the girl who saved Cecilia asks the fortune teller for directions to the church, and the woman wanting to meet the village's saint to see what she's like. The girl arrives at the church and meets Lawrence and Abel, and apologizes for breaking the door, and promises to compensate Lawrence for her actions. She states she has business with Abel because he abandoned his work as a home tutor in his town. Abel confirms the girl speaking the truth as she introduces herself as Hazelita Aldrich. Hazelita reveals she's the one who sent Abel the letter he tried burning in the previous episode. Cecilia returns from her four-leaf clover trip and properly introduces herself to Hazelita. Hazelita didn't expect Cecilia to be the lady saint since she was more absent-minded when they met in episode 3. Cecilia says she couldn't find any clovers but she found some flowers and wants to make a crown with them. Hazelita helps Cecilia make a crown as Abel asked her if she brought him any gifts. Hazelita follows our protagonist to their house and admits she wanted to meet this town's lady saint after fetching Abel. Lawrence claims that catching a glimpse of a lady saint is a rarity. Cecilia discusses the great lady saint with Hazelita and says she's the most difficult one to meet since she lives on Michel Island. She says lady saints like herself are the easiest to meet since they blend in with the lives of ordinary people. Lawrence recalls hearing about a lady saint who resided in the town of the west the place Hazelita and Abel come from. Abel asks Lawrence to let Hazelita stay here for the night, and Lawrence complies. Hazelita recalls the previous time she made a flower crown for the lady saint of her town. Unfortunately, the lady saint of her town develops a severe illness, and Hazelita urges everyone to help her. However, someone tells Hazelita that she's foolish for thinking someone like a lady saint needs their help or can fall victim to common illnesses. Hazelita despises lady saint managers because of her experiences. She feels they're all blinded by greed and the need for notoriety. Lawrence visits Hazelita, and she asks him about his thoughts about Cecilia since he lives with her. Lawrence says he enjoys having someone to eat food with, shocking Hazelita. This is because previous lady saint managers used lady saints for wealth and working purposes. Lawrence assures Hazelita that he treasures Cecilia greatly and wants to see her smile. Cecilia approaches Abel and asks him if he arranged for Hazelita to meet Lawrence since it has something to do with the lady saint of her town. Abel asks to Cecilia if she knew stories about the Lady Saint of Compassion. He reveals that the people of that town treated her like she transcended humanity, leading to her dying of a disease. Abel reveals Hazelita was the Lady Saint of Compassion's dearest friend. After enjoying dinner with Abel, Lawrence, and Cecilia, Hazelita asks Cecilia about the idea of living with a guy alone and nothing happening between them. Cecilia confirms nothing romantic happens between them, and Hazelita finds it somewhat strange. After some banter between the four, Hazelita tells Cecilia if anything happens between her and Lawrence to talk with her. Abel and Hazelita leave Lawrence and Cecilia for tutoring sessions. Cecilia thanks Lawrence for treating her with such care. The following day, Abel wishes some townspeople good luck as Hazelita spies on him from afar. Hazelita tells Abel that she misunderstood Lawrence and finds he's an exceptional worker despite being dense. Cecilia stumbles upon a box, and Lawrence says it holds a nostalgic item inside. Cecilia shows the item to Hazelita and Abel. Abel recalls Lawrence making them for his grandfather's event in the past, 
and admits they aren't adorable looking. Cecilia vows to help Lawrence turn them into cute items that will make Hazelita and Apple change their views. Hazelita thinks the pair are dense and Lawrence confirms the liquid on the items is chocolate and Apple suggests he and Hazelita leave as soon as they can. We see Lawrence tells Hazelita and Apple he must embark on a trip to visit Corinne. He asks the two if they'd like to accompany him and Cecilia there and they accept his offer. The group meet Corinne and she's happy that Lawrence isn't lonely since he has people like Hazelita, Apple and Cecilia around. Lawrence tells Hazelita to stay put and look after Abel while he and Cecilia conduct a service for Corinne. While Corinne discusses Lawrence's past with Cecilia, Hazelita uses her camera to snap photos. Hazelita gets lost in the forest, resulting in Abel looking for her. Meanwhile, Lawrence offers to make dinner while Corinne shares more stories about him with Cecilia. Corinne notices Cecilia might be in love with Lawrence and Cecilia feels embarrassed. Lawrence calls Miss Corinne over to help him prepare things. As they're staring out at the lake from Corinne's windows, Corinne tells Lawrence she often hears voices when she's by the lake. Corinne heard rumors that the voices came from fairies, so she asked Mr. Oswell, Lawrence's grandfather, to consult with her. She believes Oswell can see things others couldn't, making him a fascinating figure. Afterward, Abel and Hazelita enter Corinne's home. Cecilia asks Corinne where Lawrence is. Corinne tells Cecilia he went somewhere, enticing Cecilia to leave the place to find him. Hazelita tells Abel she had issues with her camera's shutter when taking photos of the lake. Corinne tells Abel that visitors who stop by don't have issues taking photos of her area. Abel believes there's something in the lake preventing Hazelita from taking photos. Lawrence visits the lake and almost trips. Thankfully, Cecilia saves him from falling. Lawrence opens up about his grandfather, his death, and Lawrence's goal to look after church to honor him. Lawrence admits he's tried to become more like his grandfather. He states how difficult it is to accomplish this feat. Cecilia tells Lawrence while it's nice that he wants to be like his father, sulking about his failures will waste his time. Lawrence asks Cecilia questions about the voices coming from the lake. Lawrence confirms he felt like he was pulled into the lake, confirming Cecilia's speculation that fairies are responsible. Abel and Hazelita arrive. Hazelita scolds Lawrence for his recklessness. Cecilia asks Abel for an Iron Maid cross. She wants to punish the naughty fairies who attempted to harm Lawrence. Lawrence asks Cecilia if he can watch her perform what she's about to do. After accepting Lawrence's request, Cecilia performs her enchantment and asks the fairies to have fun in the middle of the lake, where no people are present. Lawrence is baffled by Cecilia's power and questions if this is what his grandfather did back then. Lawrence and the others bid Corinne farewell and head for their carriage in the morning. Cecilia wonders when the time will come to inform Lawrence about his unusual predisposition. It's now Valentine's Day, and Abel gives Cecilia information about the holiday since she was unaware of it. He tells her that Lawrence received chocolates from many girls during his youth, giving Cecilia some ideas. Abel grabs Lawrence and hastily to tells him it's Valentine's Day today. Abel encourages Cecilia to ask Lawrence to teach her how to make chocolates. One hour later, Cecilia crafts a horrendous piece of chocolate. Lawrence leaves to get more ingredients and wonders who Cecilia is making the chocolate for. Abel and Hazley to travel through town as Abel explains why it's beneficial for Cecilia to have Lawrence teach her to make chocolate. Meanwhile, Lawrence bumps into the fortune teller from a previous episode named Mel. He tells Mel that Cecilia is making chocolates for someone. Lawrence returns home and discovers Cecilia's wounded herself with a knife. Cecilia urges Lawrence to let her continue making chocolates, making Lawrence mildly jealous. He thinks Cecilia will abandon him for someone she's making chocolates for, despite telling him she'll always be with him during their fairy incident at Corinne's place. Cecilia finishes making the chocolate and presents it to Lawrence. Lawrence tells Cecilia he thought she made it for someone else and finds it funny she came to him for chocolate crafting advice. He thanks Cecilia and questions how he can repay her. Hazelita and Abel return, and she criticizes Lawrence for his dense behavior. Cecilia feels satisfied to see Lawrence express himself in ways she'd never seen before. We see Cecilia assisting a cafe while Lawrence completes errands. Cecilia tells the customer she wants to help since it'll help her understand her fellow citizens' daily lives. She also wants Lawrence to see her working hard to receive praise from him. Lawrence enters the cafe and is shocked to see Cecilia working there. He questions if she broke something, but Cecilia ensures she's helping the cafe owner since they're short on staff. After sharing a table with Mel to observe Cecilia, the cafe owner greets Lawrence. She tells Lawrence Cecilia brought in more customers and needs more assistance. Lawrence decides to help the cafe owner out, surprising Cecilia. After walking home from work, Lawrence tells Cecilia and Hazelsha he and Abel must visit the village for an important matter. 
He tasks Hazelito with watching Cecilio while they're away. Cecilia uses this opportunity to get to know Hazelita more. Hazelita encourages Cecilia to act more womanlike in hopes of helping her get Lawrence to think of her as a woman instead of a child. Hazelita reveals she's persuading Cecilia to move forward with her romantic endeavors because she's met many lady saints who put others' happiness before their own. Cecilia tells Hazelita not to worry about her and asks about her connection with Abel. Meanwhile, a man bumps into Abel and Lawrence and thanks them for looking for his lost son. Lawrence and Abel return home and the girls greet them with banter and jokes. Thereafter, Abel dreams about his childhood after looking through photos. He remarks he could see things others couldn't, resulting in his parents, friends, and others finding him creepy. After getting kicked out of his dorm, Abel found hope after meeting a certain person. Abel leaves his room and hands Cecilia the photos pertaining to Lawrence's school days. Cecilia and Hazelsha look through the photos until Lawrence arrives. They ask him why Abel looks expressionless in the photos. Lawrence recalls Abel being different from the man he is now because of the sad life he endured. Abel finds a letter in the mailbox while Lawrence informs the girls of his and Abel's early beginnings. He recounts a moment in his past that led to him and Abel having a close connection. Abel arrives and hands Hazelita the letter, which happens to be from her older brother. Abel tells Hazelita to respond to him before he winds up heading here. Hazelita writes a response and hands it to Abel. Before Abel departs to the village to send it, Cecilia stops him. Cecilia thanks him for meeting Lawrence. Abel tells Cecilia that he's glad she met him because now, he can set his sights on someone else. Hazelita stumbles upon Cecilia spying on Lawrence since she thinks he's hiding a secret from her but later Abel and Hazelita join Cecilia in her spying shenanigans and suddenly the female fortune teller bumps into them and joins them in their spying antics. They follow him to a clothing shop and wonder what he's doing there and the fortune teller notices Cecilia's missing, causing Abel and Hazelita to panic. Suddenly, Lawrence spots Abel and Hazelita and questions what they're doing. Meanwhile, Cecilia wonders where she is after losing sight of Abel and Hazelita, and the clothing shop owner's son notices Cecilia and takes her to the clothing shop after she tells him she got separated from Lawrence. Lawrence tells Hazelita, the female fortune teller, and Abel that he's become the shop owner's son's home tutor for a short time. They inform Lawrence that Cecilia's been spying on him and got lost somewhere, and Lawrence asks Rebecca where Eric is. Rebecca says Eric hasn't returned from doing his deliveries yet. Lawrence tells Hazelita and Abel to wait at the shop, and he leaves with the fortune teller to look for Cecilia. Meanwhile, Eric tells Cecilia about Lawrence's home tutor job and explains why he needs a home tutor, and Cecilia wonders if Lawrence could teach her some things, and Eric questions her intellectual levels. Cecilia says many lady saints, like herself, never got to attend educational facilities, and they arrive at the clothing shop and reunite with Lawrence and the others. Lawrence properly introduces Eric to everyone and reveals he told Cecilia about his home tutor position, but Cecilia didn't remember him doing so because she was half asleep when he told her. Abel and Hazelita leave after realizing it was all a misunderstanding, and Eric asks Lawrence if they could continue his studies another time. Lawrence hands Eric a book and asks him to read it for next time. Eric returns to his room, and Cecilia apologizes to Lawrence for spying on him, he tells her he'd never hide anything from her that would hurt her, and this makes Cecilia upset, but Lawrence explains some things must be hidden. Later, a postal company drops a letter off at Lawrence's place. Cecilia and Hazelita notice Abel and Lawrence chatting about a letter that requests they attend a meeting, and Abel explains pastors get together at regular intervals to hold meetings. However, Lawrence hasn't attended any meetings because he claims he must look after Cecilia, and she suggests Lawrence attend the meetings with her. Hazelita planned to watch over their home but Abel claims she's been asked to attend too and says the meeting's being held at his church. This happens to be where Hazelita's family resides, so he believes Hazelita should visit them when she arrives there. They arrive in the city with Eric and says Rebecca wanted him to attend the trip to conduct business as her representative. Lawrence confirms he won't address Cecilia as Lady Saint during the event to avoid problems and Hazelita teases him about it. He leaves with Abel to make it to the event on time. Lawrence and Abel arrive and meet their old acquaintances named Hein Camilla and Yuri, and Hein tells Abel the senior pastors want to discuss things with him because he abandoned his duties. Meanwhile, he asks Lawrence to visit the meeting room with him. Pastor Hugo pulls Lawrence aside, and he explains Hugo was once his teacher and one of his grandfather's friends, and Hughes tells Lawrence he heard a rumor that his church holds a lady saint. Lawrence promises him that his lady saint be treated with care, and Hugo tells Lawrence to keep her identity a secret as this church brought great tragedy to another lady saint. Lawrence explains what happened between him and Hugo with Abel, 
and they notice Cecilia and the others arrive there. They all meet up with Hein, Camilla, and Yuri. Yuri and Camilla pull Cecilia aside after she asks for the mirror room's location. The girls lead her elsewhere and ask Cecilia to come clean about her relationship with Lawrence, and Cecilia thinks she's in a romantic bloodbath and doesn't know how to respond. However, things turn in the opposite direction as the girls are excited that Lawrence might be having an affair with Cecilia. But before Yuri could bombard Cecilia with questions, a man orders her and Camilla to get back to work, and another man offers to watch over Cecilia in the meantime. The man tries putting the moves on Cecilia, but Lawrence arrives and stops him and introduces himself as Hazelita's older brother, Gisselbert Aldrich. Gisselbert realizes Lawrence and Cecilia are on good terms, and Lawrence asks Gisselbert to keep Cecilia's Lady Saint status a secret, but he asks them to continue their conversation at the mansion. Lawrence and the others visit the Gisselbert's mansion. Abel and Hazelita scold Gisselbert for his actions. Hazelita confirms that Gisselbert hired Abel and is the master of the mansion while their parents are away. Gisselbert tells everyone to enjoy their time at the mansion. While everyone's eating, Gisselbert converses with Abel outside about Hazelita's progress in relationship with Cecilia, Lawrence, and the others. Then Gisselbert asks Lawrence to drink with him and discuss things about Cecilia and Hazelita. Lawrence and Cecilia explore the city alone the next day, and they visit a shop, and Lawrence buys Cecilia an expensive necklace and puts it on for her, and Cecilia tells Lawrence she'll treasure the moments they've had in the city so far. Lawrence promises to work hard enough to call Cecilia by her name instead of referring to her as Lady Saint. Cecilia and Lawrence reunite with Eric, Hazelita, and Abel at a restaurant, and Hazelita asks Lawrence about the places he visited with Cecilia, and she notices he got Cecilia a necklace and gives him praise. Hazelita spills something on the table after Abel scolds her for her meddling antics. She and Eric leave for a moment. Cecilia notices Lawrence is having head issues and Abel asks her if she bestowed too much protection on Lawrence again, but Cecilia promises she's been more careful since then. Abel tells Cecilia to decrease her protection of Lawrence after Lawrence mentions he and Cecilia pass by a garden on their way to the restaurant. Cecilia complies, resulting in Lawrence feeling better. Abel reveals the garden holds the resting place of Lady St. Frederica and feels Lawrence was affected by her divine protection and Hazelita returns and tells Cecilia and Lawrence everything she knows about Frederica. She reveals a wealthy family brought Frederica to the city and that she would visit her in the garden when she was a kid. Hazelita says Frederica earned her Lady Saint of Compassion status by setting people's hearts at ease as soon as they spoke with her and Hazelita reveals she and her brother would spend the most time with Frederica but unfortunately the wealthy family who brought her here only worshipped her for her holy status and refused to treat her as a person, and this caused the townsfolk to take a similar stance. Although someone sent a secret report to the great lady saint, who managed to calm things down, Frederica passed away, resulting in Hazelita and Gisselbert attending her deathbed. Lawrence and Cecilia spot Gisselbert with a bouquet of flowers and follow him. Gisselbert notices them and asks them to accompany him to the place he's visiting, and Gisselbert shares and tell about the garden's history as he leads Lawrence and Cecilia to Frederica's grave, and he confirms he's the one who sent the great lady saint the secret report Hazelita mentioned in her tale. Gisselbert confirms he tried taking Frederica away from the city many times but refused to inform Hazelita, and he failed many times because Frederica didn't want to comply because it didn't align with her beliefs. Gisselbert regrets not being able to save Frederica from her tragic fate. He leaves the two be as Cecilia receives a message from Frederica from the grave, and Gisselbert recounts the time he tried persuading Frederica to run away with him. Cecilia and Lawrence rush over to Gisselbert's side, and Cecilia tells him that Frederica wants him and Hazelita to live and move forward, and we see a Gisselbert sharing an intimate moment with Frederica. Lawrence and Cecilia stumbles upon Gisselbert as he burns marriage offers directed toward Hazelita, and one of the maids tells Gisselbert to reply to them and pours water on them to remove the flames. Gisselbert asks Lawrence and Cecilia to help him carry the letters, and Cecilia spots a photo of Hazelita and Frederica. Gisselbert mentions divine protection and Lawrence questions what that is. Gisselbert and Cecilia share and tell about Lady Saints with Lawrence. He explains Lady Saints have lived everywhere in every era, and Cecilia confirms she hasn't met any other Lady Saint. And he says Lady Saints used to be treated as gods, but now live ordinary lives. But he says the Great Lady Saints case is different and Gisselbert presents them with a book and says the Great Lady Saint represents all Lady Saints and protects them in normal humans. He says she lives on Michel Island's holy grounds and offers prayers every day, and Gisselbert explains divine protection to Lawrence next, and he says when a Lady Saint prays for a person or object their prayers become real. Cecilia jumps in and says they aren't absolute as they are things Lady Saints can't achieve, 
and mentions that Frederica's divine protection she placed upon Giselbert and Hazley that isn't something Lady Saints can do. Cecilia tells Lawrence she planned to share this intel when the time is right because she didn't want there to be a distance between them, and Giselbert says he's still involved with the great Lady Saint and he's currently investigating whether the Lady Saints in different areas are living peaceful lives as a part of a mission the great Lady Saint entrusted to him and he doesn't want any other Lady Saints to end up like Frederica. Later, Giselbert wonders what he should do with Hazelch's marriage offer letters. Hazelita visits Giselbert and asks him questions concerning Cecilia, Lawrence, and the letters. We cut to Eric, Hein, Lawrence, and Apple at a party. After catching up, Cecilia, Camilla, Yuri, and Hazelita arrive, and Lawrence compliments Cecilia, and she gets surprised, and Camilla pulls Hazelita and Cecilia aside. Camilla asks to Cecilia questions about her relationship with Lawrence, and Hazelita promises to assist Cecilia and help hide her Lady Saint identity. Cecilia says she lives with Lawrence but nothing romantic has happened between them yet, but she tells Camilla that Lawrence promises to call her by her name instead of addressing her as Lady Saint. Camilla asks to Cecilia what she loves most about Lawrence and Cecilia shares some things she loves about him and hopes one day he'll understand how she feels about him. Yuri reveals that she asks Cecilia these questions because she doesn't want her to grow sick of Lawrence. Meanwhile, Giselbert and Lawrence chat for a bit. Camilla, Hazelita, and Cecilia return to the food area, and Hazelita pulls Cecilia aside for a bit after Lawrence presents her with food. Hazelita and Abel reveal they won't be heading back with Lawrence or Cecilia, and Camilla suggests Cecilia and Lawrence move to the city, but Eric says Lawrence and Cecilia must reside in the village, and Abel suggests Hazelita speak with Giselbert since he knows Hazelita wants to head back with Lawrence and Cecilia. Hazelita visits Giselbert at Frederica's grave site to ask him for permission. Giselbert says he'll allow it but she must score high on specific tests he assigns to her. Later, Lawrence bumps into Hazelita and asks her if she could stay with Cecilia for a while longer, and he states Cecilia doesn't want to part ways with Hazelita, and we cut to Lawrence, Cecilia, and Eric on their train ride home, and Lawrence confirms that Hazelita and Abel will visit them from time to time to Cecilia's delight, and Abel wishes Hazelita luck on her tests. Lawrence reflects on how much work piled up since they were away with Hazelita. Apple and Eric, and Cecilia is at ease because she knows she'll see Hazelita and Apple in the future. After realizing things have returned to the status quo, Cecilia plans to spend quality time with Lawrence until Apple and Hazelita return by their side. After noticing how busy Lawrence is with work, Cecilia lends him a hand, and Lawrence starts to take note of Cecilia's loneliness and ponders. In bed, Cecilia reflects on how she failed to spend quality time with Lawrence, and Cecilia leaves her room because she has a tough time falling asleep. She falls down the stairs, alarming Lawrence, and he finds Cecilia and asks if she's okay, and Cecilia opens up, telling Lawrence that she's sad she couldn't spend quality time with him today since it's been a while since they were alone together and Lawrence gives Cecilia hot milk to help her fall asleep. Lawrence checks the time and says they should go to bed, but Cecilia refuses. She pulls Lawrence toward her causing them to get into a romantic position, and Cecilia apologizes to Lawrence and heads to bed. Lawrence spots Cecilia several times in the morning, but she refuses to confront him and ponders why for a moment and makes Cecilia some snacks to put her in a good mood, but Cecilia's too busy acting flustered about what she did to Lawrence last night. Nonetheless, the two carry on with their work as usual, but the townsfolk catch on that the two are acting strange and they wonder if Lawrence and Cecilia got into an argument and Cecilia bumps into Mel. Mel asks Cecilia to take her to see Lawrence since she's not doing well and could use help and realizes this has to do with romance, but Cecilia ensures Mel that Lawrence understands romance and he doesn't apply it to himself though. Mel suggests she be more open with Lawrence about her emotions. Meanwhile, Lawrence notices Cecilia chatting with Mel, and he wonders why Cecilia won't chat with him. Lawrence wonders if he accepted Cecilia's emotions properly. At sunset, Lawrence knocks on Cecilia's door and tells her it's almost time for dinner, and he confronts Cecilia about what happened between them the other night. Cecilia apologizes to Lawrence and ensures him that she's just getting worked up about something. Cecilia gets close to Lawrence and wonders if it's the right time to convey her deep feelings for him, but Cecilia fumbles and tells Lawrence she hopes he can take care of her for years to come, and Lawrence promises he will but asks Cecilia if she'll stop avoiding him, and he reveals it made him feel lonely. Cecilia promises she won't make him feel that way and heads to the dinner table, and Lawrence contemplates their brief moment together and wonders if he doesn't understand Cecilia's true emotions. Sometime after, Hazelita and Abel return, and Hazelita tells Cecilia she asked Lawrence if anything happened between her and him while they were gone. 
She tells Cecilia she received a vague response from him and that they're here to retrieve their old luggage, and Abel confirms he and Hazelita rented a place in town and will be residing there instead of here. After eating some snacks, Lawrence and Cecilia help Abel and Hazelita take their luggage to their new home. After helping them get settled in, Lawrence and Cecilia walk through the city, and Cecilia questions why Abel and Hazelita opted to get apartments instead of living with them, and Lawrence says the two wanted to draw the line, and he contemplates what Hazelita said about her room and suggests Cecilia go shopping with Hazelita to pick out things for hers. Cecilia says it's not necessary since she has everything she'd want in her room, making Lawrence recall the necklace he got Cecilia during their trip. Abel and Hazelita visit Lawrence in Cecilia's place for dinner, and Hazelita wonders what things to get to decorate her new apartment. Lawrence enters Cecilia's room, and he spots the necklace he purchased for her from a previous chapter and realizes Cecilia hung up his strange ornaments in her room too, and asks Cecilia to come downstairs when she's ready and recalls their intimate confrontation. Meanwhile, Abel has a tough time getting out of bed, and hears Hazelita making a noise and checks up on her. Hazelita informs him her studying things have arrived and asks him if he can help her unpack it all, and Abel asks Hazelita to stop pounding on the wall when she needs him and suggests knocking on the door like a normal person, and questions how Cecilia and Lawrence's relationship is progressing now that they're alone together in their home. Hazelita scolds Abel for his lack of care in the situation, and Abel says it's best to let Lawrence and Cecilia settle their matters on their own and not to butt in, and Hazelita understands that but fears it'll take them 10 years to finally settle as a couple. After helping Hazelita with her belongings, Abel heads to church to contemplate Lawrence and Cecilia's situation, and he questions if he should step in based on what Hazelita said to him, and Lawrence spots Abel in the church's kitchen area and chats with him for a bit. Abel tells Lawrence Gisselbert told him he called Cecilia by her name, surprising Lawrence, and Abel asks Lawrence why he has issues calling her by her name if he has no qualms with entering her room whenever he feels like it, and Lawrence argues he's referred to Cecilia as Lady Saint since they met and that it's become a habit of his, but Lawrence reassures Abel that he's working on changing the ways he addresses Cecilia since he knows she likes it when he calls her by her name. While Lawrence is lost in his thoughts, Abel reflects on Lawrence's growth as of late, and he assumes Lawrence's first meeting with Cecilia was a big moment in his life. After having tea and snacks with Cecilia, Hazelita, and Lawrence, Abel heads somewhere with Hazelita to share details about his conversation with Lawrence in the church's dining area, and Abel says Lawrence is making an effort to change, so he plans to observe them instead of pestering in their affairs. We cut to Lawrence practicing and struggling to say Cecilia's name. He recounts his first meeting with her and Cecilia's shown wearing raggy clothing and informing the townspeople of a heavy rain issue that'll occur in town soon, and Lawrence wants to check up on her but a boy asks Lawrence to assist him with an urgent matter. We cut to Lawrence researching previous heavy rain issues that happened in the village, and he realizes Cecilia's speaking the truth and wonders how she knew this rain issue would occur. He recalls his grandfather's words about lady saints and realizes Cecilia is one. Meanwhile, Cecilia continues urging the townsfolk to destroy the bridge, but they ensure her that this village has always been peaceful and free of harm, and Cecilia faints, but Lawrence protects her from falling, and Lawrence asks to Cecilia how much time they have left, but before Cecilia can tell him she accidentally pushes Lawrence to the ground, and Lawrence takes a look at Cecilia, and she confirms she's a lady saint. Cecilia tells Lawrence she's come to save this village from an upcoming calamity, and Lawrence promises to help Cecilia save the village by destroying the bridge. Cecilia and Lawrence escort everyone to the church and comfort them as the heavy rains do their thing. After napping, Lawrence rushes outside to see if the rains damaged anything, and he notices everything's okay and thanks Cecilia for her help, and Cecilia says she doesn't deserve all the credit and thanks Lawrence for being the lone person who believed in her wisdom. The villagers rush outside to thank Cecilia for her help, and they ask her to stay in the village and offer to repay her for her kindness. Some villagers suggest Cecilia stay with Lawrence since she claims she has no home to return to, and Cecilia accepts their proposal. The following day Lawrence has Cecilia try his scones, and Cecilia tells Lawrence she loves them. In the present, Lawrence says he'll always protect Cecilia from danger because she's a lady saint, but he questions if that's the only reason why he does so. Lawrence Abel, Hazelita and Cecilia have dinner together, and Cecilia tells Hazelita and Abel they're welcome to stop by for dinner whenever they'd like to. When Abel and Hazelita depart, Lawrence invites Cecilia to accompany him to the attic, and Cecilia looks out the window taking the starry sky. After hearing Cecilia complain about the cold weather, Lawrence wants to show her the beauty behind it all. Cecilia tells Lawrence that she never viewed nature this way due to her living a long life in the forest. Lawrence asks Cecilia if she can tell him more about herself, 
and Cecilia discusses her past life with Lawrence. She tells him she used to live in the woods with her grandmother and receive divine revelations from God occasionally, and her grandmother taught her everything she needed to know about being a lady saint, but unfortunately her grandmother passed away, leaving Cecilia alone to fend for herself. She recalls having a dream about Lawrence's village getting destroyed by heavy rains, therefore she left her grandmother's home to visit his village and warn them of the upcoming calamity. We receive more intel about what happened after Lawrence vowed to help Cecilia destroy the bridge, and Lawrence convinced his people to believe in Cecilia's revelation by bringing up his grandfather's beliefs about lady saints. In the present, Cecilia tells Lawrence how happy it makes her to spend time with him in his home, and it helped her escape the loneliness she felt after her grandmother's passing. Lawrence relishes how happy he is to be with Cecilia too and hopes this feeling can last forever, and suddenly Cecilia lies next to Lawrence and tells him his hands are warm, and he suggests she head to bed. After Cecilia leaves, Lawrence starts recalling their moment together and starts feeling fuzzy inside. We see Cecilia and Lawrence visiting Eric and Rebecca at their shop. While Lawrence tutors Eric, Cecilia will assist Rebecca with shop duties, and Eric asks Lawrence what Cecilia means to him but Lawrence isn't sure how to respond, and suggests Lawrence consider Cecilia as a family to him since he notices how concerned he is for her well-being all the time. Lawrence and Eric take a break and Lawrence ponders Eric's comments about family and Lawrence spots Cecilia wearing new attire and compliments her. Afterwards, Lawrence converses with Mel about what Eric told him about families and Lawrence feels it's disrespectful to consider Cecilia as family. Mel informs Lawrence that Cecilia is looking at them from afar startling Lawrence and Eric arrives and asks Lawrence to continue their lesson and Cecilia wants to observe their session and Eric allows it. After helping Eric study, Rebecca brings up the winter market, interesting Cecilia. Lawrence explains it's a festival that hosts different shops for people to visit. Lawrence and Cecilia walk home together, and Lawrence asks her for her thoughts about family, and Cecilia gives Lawrence her opinion on the matter, and he thanks her for making things clear for him. Lawrence meets with Hazelita and Abel, and tells them that he considers Cecilia a family to him, and this upsets Hazelita strongly. But Abel doesn't mind it since Lawrence is not taking Cecilia for granted. Hazelita suggests Lawrence prove to them that she's like family to him, and Lawrence asks Hazelita for tips on the matter. Cecilia, Lawrence, Hazelita, and Abel attend the winter market event, and they visit everything from food to antique shops. Abel and Hazelita head off somewhere during the night, leaving Lawrence and Cecilia to wander the event alone. They bump into Eric, Mel, and Rebecca's winter market stands. Rebecca requests Lawrence and Cecilia to visit her at her clothing shop and she shows them a new clothing piece she completed, and Cecilia loves it, and Rebecca asks Lawrence how Cecilia look in it, and he says she'd look great with this piece of clothing on. Eric notices Cecilia's giddiness when Lawrence says that, but before he could ask Lawrence about his feelings for Cecilia, Mel stops him. Mel tells Eric it's best for Lawrence to naturally realize Cecilia's dormant feelings for him. Thereafter, Lawrence takes Cecilia somewhere far, and suddenly people start lighting up a tower, and Cecilia is amazed at the spectacle before her eyes, and Lawrence asks Cecilia if it'd be okay for her to consider him like family. Cecilia tells Lawrence she considers him as family to her, resulting in him hugging her close to his chest, and Cecilia gets nervous, causing Lawrence to stop hugging her, but Cecilia ensures him that she appreciates the hug and would like him to hug her again. As they hug, Cecilia realizes Lawrence seems tense, and she asks him if he's seeking something particular with the family. We cut to a flashback of Lawrence conversing with his grandfather, Oswell, she tells him he'll regret leaving him alone when he passes away. In the present, Lawrence tells Cecilia he felt lonely when Oswell died. However, Cecilia's appearance in his life made him feel less lonely and more happy, and Lawrence feels if they were family, then Cecilia would remain by his side. Cecilia reassures Lawrence that she'll always be by his side. The next morning, Cecilia, Lawrence, Hazelita, and Abel eat a meal together. And Abel comments that his eggs burnt and Lawrence and Cecilia humorously argue over it. We cut to a girl named Lily visiting Lawrence and Cecilia at the church and observing them, but before Lily leaves with her mother, she tells Cecilia she can have Lawrence, causing Cecilia to blush, and Lawrence and Cecilia smiles at each other. But that's where this story ends. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and let me know what you think about this anime in the comment, and as always leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video.